Hello everyone and welcome back to 27 Fox Place. <laughs> I know I say this all the time, but I like to make the bed every morning and the sooner the bed gets made, the longer it stays that way. <laughs> and it's always the first thing that I check off my list, especially when I have a busy day. But even if you don't make the bed every day, it's still a good idea to fold back the bed covers so that the bed has a chance to air out. The weather has been perfect these past few weeks and the grass has started to grow <laughs> and the yard is starting to recover from the heat and we have baby doves in the tree on the patio. <laughs> so I wanted to try and get an early start so that I could spend the afternoon outdoors. There's a lot I need to get done in the kitchen today and I need to clean these shelves in this window every week. Grease and moisture in the kitchen mix with the dust which makes it harder to clean than dust in the rest of the house. So I need to use a damp microfiber cloth to clean off the dust. And once the glass is clean I can use a dry microfiber cloth to buff out the water spots and leave a streak free shine. I like to use Methods Granite Cleaner on the countertops and while I was cleaning the lower section of this window, I noticed that there were quite a few water spots on the glass and because this window is so deep, it can be a challenge to reach so I like to use a window scrubber and just a little water to clean off the spots. And then I'll use a squeegee to remove the excess water. And a squeegee is one of the best tools to remove the residue that can leave a hazy film on the glass. Honestly, don't. I should be the last to know Hello Ramona I mistook you for a dream You always seem to know Hello I clean the cabinets on a weekly basis so that the grime doesn't have a chance to build up, but I usually do a little bit every day instead of all at once. So while I'm cleaning up in the kitchen, I'll clean the stainless steel or wipe down a section of cabinets, but there are times when I just don't have the energy, so I'm spending a little more time today. And because I'm using a damp microfiber cloth, I don't have to spend extra time switching between cleaners, so it only takes about 10 minutes to wipe down the cabinets and appliances, and I just start on one side of the kitchen and I'll work my way around the upper cabinets and appliances and then I'll go back around on the bottom section. I should be the last to know we're all in this. I stand alone. Show me where the Microfiber works without cleaning products because it's designed to trap germs and bacteria so they can be washed away. So it's important to rinse out the cloth frequently.
that I'm finished with the cabinets, I'll do the same thing with the counters. I'll start on one side of the kitchen and I'll clean the backsplash, the countertops, and everything on them. And it's an efficient system that saves time and energy, but it also helps me keep track of what I've done and what I have left to do. So that if I had to stop now, I would be able to pick up where I left off. have a few things that I wanted to take care of in the laundry room today, but I need to tidy up a bit first. I didn't have any laundry waiting for me this morning, but I do have some blankets that I need to wash today. And I have a little bit of laundry that I need to fold and put away. I did a load of laundry the day before and I hung up some clothes to air dry, but I didn't get around to putting the clothes away. <laughs> 
and because the clothes are hanging all over the cabinets, I haven't been able to put anything away. So there's a few groceries stacked up on the counter and I need to do a little reorganizing in this area, but I haven't had time to work on it and it's been on my to-do list for the last few months now and hopefully I'll be able to get to it sometime this year. Tell me should I know Now that I have everything put away, I can wipe everything down and because the laundry room is in the garage, <laughs> there's a lot more dust than in the house so I try to clean it every week. And today I'm using a disinfectant wipe to clean the dust off the countertops and cabinets so that I have a clean place to put the laundry. On days when I don't have the time to get the laundry put away first thing in the morning, I'll try and bring the basket upstairs so that I remember to take care of it the next time I come into the room. And I don't have a lot to do upstairs today, and out of sight is out of mind, so I wanted to get the laundry put away before the day gets away from me. I try my best to move. I change the cover on the sofa every week and I wash the rest of the blankets every other week or so. And the faux fur blankets need to air dry, so I should have thrown them in the wash earlier today, but the kitchen was my first priority and I wanted to get that done before I did anything else. I vacuum the areas on the sofa where the dog hair collects on a weekly basis, but it's time for a more thorough vacuuming, and I like to use the small rotary attachment to vacuum the upholstery, but it may not be the best choice for every fabric, but it does a better job at picking up dog hair than the upholstery attachment. The rotary attachment is too big to get into the tufts on the ottoman, so once I finish vacuuming the larger areas, I can switch to the crevice tool to get into the little pockets.
I don't always vacuum the entire sofa at the same time. The bottom cushions are covered up so they don't need to be vacuumed as often as the back cushions, so I just focus on the areas that need the most attention and then I'll get to the rest the next time I vacuum. out I need to clean out the tray that we keep on the ottoman. I keep the remotes and a few other things that we need in this tray and because I need to empty it out to clean it I tend to skip over this tray when I dust the rest of the house. So I'll just use a damp microfiber cloth to wipe out the tray and while I'm at it I'll wipe off the remotes.
The blankets need to air dry, but since I got a late start getting the blankets in the wash, I'll use the air dry setting on the dryer to help speed up the dry time, and hopefully they'll be dry enough to put back later today. I always like to run the dishwasher at night so that I can empty it in the morning, but it saves energy to run a full load, and it's not always full enough to run at night. So I've added a few bulky items like the coffee pot and the coffee canister so that I could run the dishwasher this morning. And before I wash the floors, I wanted to unload the dishwasher and refill the coffee beans. Somewhere in the great unknown, when I return from the afterglow. Will you carry me like I am holding you? Wait, hold on We'll be together, take me back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling that the feeling is all gone Wait, hold on We'll be together, take me back where I belong I always like to clean the floors last because having clean floors is like having icing on the cake. And the floors aren't too bad, so I'm just using water to give the floors a quick rinse. We have travertine tiles, so I need to use a cleaner that's safe for natural stone. And when I use cleaner on the floor, I like to rinse the floors with clean water to remove any residue from the cleaning solution. And the extra rinse picks up more dirt so the floors are cleaner, but it's also safer for pets and little ones who might be on the floor. And so soapy residue left behind can actually attract more dirt so you end up having to clean the floors more often. I get a lot of questions about the wet vac that I use to clean the floors, and I used to have a Bissell Cross Wave before I had this machine, but I broke it, <laughs> and I decided to try this one because it had a removable battery, and it was the most affordable option. But I don't think that they sell this model anymore, but I'm not sure I would buy it again anyway. It has a high and low setting, and the battery runs out on the high setting before I can finish washing the floors. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and that it gives you a little motivation to get some things done. And remember to hit that like button and be sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications before you go. And thank you so much for spending your time with me today and I hope to see you next time. Thank you.